Hello everyone, today we are going to talk about evolution of networking from ARPANET to NSFNET to present day internet and uh, if we see the evolution uh, from ARPANET to internet, uh, ARPANET was founded in 1969 and then came the NSFNET in 1985 and uh, after that in 1986 onwards the journey to internet uh, started and in uh, mid 90s we can say that the present day internet took its shape. So first of all uh, we'll uh, discuss ARPANET. ARPANET uh, was the first network and it was uh, founded by US Department of Defense uh, in 1969. It was a sponsored project. Uh, called Advanced Research Project Agency Network. Its primary goal is to connect the computers in different universities and the US Department of Defense. And it uh, started with a handful of computers, but uh, later it expanded rapidly and the engineers, scientists, students and uh, researchers who were part of the system began exchanging data messages on it. Even they uh, started playing games, long distance gaming in fact and uh, socialized with people on common field of interest. Uh, later in 1985, the NSFNet came. It was another federal agency called National Science Foundation, which developed a high capacity network. And uh, its primary mo motive is to uh, connect the academic and engineer res engineering researchers uh, on its uh, network and not any kind of private business on this network. So, uh, many private companies built their own network, which were uh, later interconnected with ARPANET and NSFNET to form the internet. It was inter-networking between ARPANET, NSFNET and some private network, which was named uh, later as internet. The original ARPANET, uh, which started in 1969, it uh, was shut down in 1990. And the government funding to NSFNET uh, uh, was also discontinued in uh, 1995, but the commercial internet services uh, came into the picture uh, and uh, they are still running the internet, all the private companies. Uh, so internet is a worldwide network of computer computers, in fact computer networks. It evolved from, its, uh, from the first network, ARPANET, and uh, it's an interconnection of large and small networks around the globe, run by different organizations and interconnected at pairing points. Now, uh, all, all the computers on internet, all the networks on the internet uses a common internet standard and we'll talk about it. The internet connect, uh, connects many smaller networks together and allows all the computers to exchange information with each other as you can see here around the globe and to uh, accomplish this all the computers on the internet should have the common set of rules for communication, they are called protocols and the protocol which is used in uh, internet is uh, TCP IP, Transmission Control Protocol and Internet uh, Protocol. Now how does internet work? Actually internet, uh, uh, in internet most computers are connected to smaller network which are in turn are connected uh, through gateway to the internal backbone. As you can see in the figure, there are small small networks they are called access networks and they are connected to the backbone uh, through a device called gateway and which and gateway are, we know that it is a device that connects dissimilar networks. So backbone is central interconnecting structure that connects one or more network just like a trunk of a tree. Now functioning of internet, uh, internet works in every computer connected to it because of the common set of rules of communication called protocols and as we have already uh, discussed that the communication protocol used to use internet is uh, TCP IP that is transmission control protocol and internet protocol. We should understand the purpose of uh, these two protocols. First we will take the TCP transmission control protocol. Uh, this part of the protocol is responsible for dividing the files or messages into packets. Uh, which can flow on the transmission media uh, in the network. Uh, this thing takes place on the source computer. And uh, same TCP is again responsible for reassembling all these packets at the destination computer where it reassemble uh, the packets to form the uh, original message or the file uh, from which these package, uh, packets were formed. So uh, the part of IP 
internet protocol is responsible for handling the address of the destination computer uh, so that each packet is routed and uh, uh, to its proper destination so in this way tcp and ip work together one divides uh, the message into packets and then uh, route the packet uh, by uh, assigning the proper address of the destination computer it, it, it is uh, done by ip and then at the recipient computer the destination computer the whole uh, all the packets are reassembled to uh, retain the uh, to retrieve the original file so now we'll talk about the interspace interspace is actually a modern day internet the future of internet uh, is a uh, client server software program that allows multiple users to communicate online in real time audio video text chat in dynamic 3d environment as we can see nowadays that uh, uh, we are able to do video conferencing in real time and that to dynamic 3d environments also uh, interspace provide most advanced form of communication available in internet today and uh, it is uh, the inter uh, sorry interspace is a vision of what the internet will become where user cross correlate information is mul in multiple ways from multiple sources so it's it's a kind of application environment uh, for uh, future communication uh, thank you to uh, have more information on this topic you can refer these two books and feel free to ask me any question on the topic